So for the first time on this channel, we are checking out a solid state lithium ion battery built inside this unit. Over here, this is a traditional lithium iron phosphate battery. So we're gonna talk about the pros and cons and why they would even do this. And then we'll just open this up and see what it looks like inside. So first, these have the same volume, but this one has less capacity. This is 1,280 watt hours, and this one is 2,146. And that's because typically with the solid state lithium ion battery, the specific energy and volumetric density is better. Next, a lithium iron phosphate battery cannot charge below zero degrees Celsius. The solid state lithium ion battery on the data sheet states that it can charge at negative 20 degrees Celsius. So that low temp charging issue is really not a concern for this type of battery. Next, a solid state lithium ion battery typically has better safety, especially against physical abuse. They actually sent me a video of them puncturing one of the cells and nothing happened. Lithium iron phosphate is very safe and the cells are hermetically sealed, but if I were to puncture them, that electrolyte is really messy and you do not want to touch it. So it's not an issue for this battery. Now the downsides, check this out. I looked at the data sheet and the charge cycle life is only 1200. A typical lithium iron phosphate battery with new cells that are matched should last 3000 to 5000 cycles. And lots of YouTubers, I've seen them talk about solid state lithium ion batteries. They said the cycle life was supposed to be incredible. But going by the data sheet, um, I don't know what they're talking about. This only does 1200 cycles. Next, the cells data sheet states one third C for charge and discharge. A lithium iron phosphate can do 0.5 C and then a discharge of one to three C. So yeah, that's pretty bad. But the safety is fantastic. The thermal stability, the temperature cycling, everything else for this chemistry is fantastic. But yeah, I would much rather go with lithium iron phosphate. It's just not worth any of these benefits at all, especially if it costs more. And this is why I never say anything on my channel until something's on my desk, I have a data sheet, or I have a study to back it up because all of these YouTubers say, oh, solid state lithium ion, it's the future. But I keep telling them, I'm like, wait until you actually have one in your hands. So anyways, let's tear this thing apart and see what these cells look like inside. Now something else I forgot to mention is this one turns on. This one charges and discharges great. This one was dead on arrival. I even tried charging it for a few hours and the charger said it was charging, but this screen has never turned on. And honestly, it looks pretty cheap. These plugs and the display and the case. Um, Chins is a very budget battery company. But these plugs I've seen on very cheap solar generators. So yeah, very unfortunate. So when we open it up, we can try to figure out what happened or what's broken. So yeah, let's get started. Oh man, it already smells like a chins. They have a very distinct glue smell. It's not a good smell at all. If I get cancer, it's from this. I like how they're actually trying though. I mean, it's the first thing that I've actually seen with solid state cells. Now, something to mention is the data sheet said solid state, but in the emails, they said it was semi-solid state. So I'm wondering if these are like lithium polymer pouch cells, because um, a lithium polymer is like a semi-solid state and it has about the same charge cycles as this. So it might actually be that. But lithium polymers, you can't puncture. So this is different than that. So yeah, I don't know what they're using. The cell is made by Gafang though, and I will post the uh, data sheet on my forum so you guys can see that. Oh, we have to be careful. There's an inverter circuit, so there is high voltage. I was actually expecting lower quality boards, but this looks nice. The components are actually cheap, but I love this board. It looks so nice. Actually, if you look closer, it's pretty cheaply made. These capacitors are pretty cheap. Um, this heat sink is wiggly. But the board is nice, especially for this price point. Typically they don't have this kind of a flat matte look to them. VIP, that's a BMS manufacturer that they use for some of their products. It has a Bluetooth module. That's nice. If it wasn't dead on arrival, I would love to test that, jeez. So for the display and the USB, all of those converter circuits are right here and also the control board. And then the other side is the AC receptacles, nothing really going on over here, but it's crazy they're doing 120 volts through a XT60 connector. I've never seen that before. Oh, the AC one is black and the DC ones are yellow, so I've never actually seen this type. 
Now this looks like a Chin's battery. This is typically what they look like before we open them up. So it actually looks like a Chin's battery, but they're using pouch cells. But these are not typical pouch cells because with lithium iron phosphate pouch cells, you're gonna have to have a case and when it expands and contracts, you have to have a certain amount of compression. With this one, they're just taped together and held with foam and that's it. Even though the safety is high on this type of battery, you always have to think that batteries are dangerous no matter what, no matter what chemistry it is. They hold a lot of energy in a small location. Nice, we did it. So this is the cell they're using. It's like a Gafang 3.65 volt, 152 watt hour. Let's test the voltage, because I don't know why this thing did not turn on. We got 4.1 volts, 4.1. Pack voltage is 29 volts, and the BMS is live. And this is a 60 amp BMS with 7S, and we have 14 cells. So this thing is still live even though we cut off one of the cells because this one is in parallel with this one. So it should have power for the inverter board and everything else, but I don't know why it didn't turn on. Nothing on the control board seems to be burned out, and it has a temperature sensor, but it's not attached to anything. Typically these should be taped or glued down. These look very different though. These do not look like lithium iron phosphate pouch cells. They have these little tabs on the side. They are, they, and they feel different as well. They feel really hard. Now let's do something fun. We're gonna puncture this on camera because it's so safe. So we should be able to do that just fine. <laughs> okay, here we go guys. Oh, whoa. Uh oh, I smell something. That's not good. It did not catch on fire, but it is emitting a gas and it smells bad, so I'm gonna take it outside. All right, here we go, guys. <laughs> oh God, you see that gas? Yeah, bull that is not safe. <laughs> oh, no. oh no! Oh no! Here we go, guys. <laughs> oh god. Did you see that gas? Look at that, holy cow. This is one of 14 cells, you guys. Imagine if this whole thing combusted, that is nuts. I don't trust that data sheet. I don't trust it, you guys should read it for yourself and then tell me what you think. We're just gonna leave it in water for a few days and not touch it at all. God, that is an awful smell. Oh, it smells so bad. <sighs> All those YouTubers saying, oh, solid state's the future. And then they send me this garbage. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, let's just leave that thing. We need to safely discharge this and then let it be till the end of time. <laughs> I am never gonna touch this again. Oh, I hate when people send me this stuff. That sucks. So right now I'm gonna let you guys watch the video that they sent me of the puncture test. Um, if this was a solid state electrolyte, it would be fine for this, at least from what I've read and what I've seen on YouTube for experimental batteries. But yeah, this is not safe. This is pretty much the same safety as a lithium polymer and it reacts rapidly and that creates, that is a massive amount of heat that was created over there. So yeah, even though they advertise it and say that it's more safe, <laughs> in this case, it wasn't. So yeah, take everything you see online with a grain of salt. My goodness. All right, yeah, let's go back inside. 